Welcome to yet another session on probability. In the last session, we understood about elementary probability, mutually exclusive event, and independent events. In this session, we will understand statistically dependent events. In real life scenarios, we more often encounter dependent events compared to independent events. Under dependent events, there are two possible types of events. One is joint occurrence, another one is conditional occurrence. Joint occurrence is two activities, at least two activities or two events occurring together, one after the other, that is in succession. And conditional probability or conditional occurrence is an event has occurred and having that event has occurred, another event occurring. So that is conditional occurrence. We can give a number of examples for joint occurrence and conditional occurrence. Joint occurrence is that two people coming to a cinema hall, okay, or two people going for a football match. So these are all two people or two events that are occurring. Example for a conditional occurrence could be is that you are reaching office by metro rail, in which case you reaching the office depends on metro rail coming into the station at a time you pick up the train and then you go to the office after getting out of the station so there are two events and that is what is called conditional event okay another way is that a surgeon waiting for the anesthetist to come to start the surgery unless the anesthetist is there he cannot start the surgery so that is a condition so this is we will understand these are all statistically dependent events. How the probability or probability applications will be, we will see that by way of a presentation. Venn diagram is an easier way of representing various events in a pictorial form to understand about the probability of a situation. In fact, many complex probability situations can be represented on a Venn diagram to understand better. With this, we will move on to the PowerPoint presentation and understand about statistically dependent events we will understand statistically dependent events under statistically dependent events we have joint occurrence and conditional occurrence joint occurrence is two events occurring in succession and conditional event is an event has occurred and another event is occurring example of statistically dependent event reaching office taking a metro rail or a surgeon waiting for anesthetist to start the surgery. So one activity is dependent on the other and that is what is statistically dependent events. We need to understand probabilities under this situation. There are two things as I told you, one is joint probability, another one is conditional probability. The joint probability of A and B occurring is given by probability of A into probability of B having A has occurred. That means the uh, event A and event B are occurring in succession. In conditional probability, given that the event B has occurred, the probability of A occurring and that is what is represented here. That is probability of B oblique A is given by the joint probability of A and B occurring over probability of A and vice versa. So this is very important. Joint probability is events occurring in succession and conditional probabilities given that an event has occurred the probability of another event occurring and we need to understand these three probabilities joint probability conditional probability and marginal probability under these let us take a typical example an analysis of a loan defaulters in a bank now these are the three groups salary business and retired groups and the default and non-default status and the total. Now the marginal probability is favorable even over total number of events. So if you take the example of probability of default that means 115 over 1000 and that is probability of default. Similarly probability of non-default probability of non-default is 885 over 1000. Again probability of salaried group 300 over 1000 business group 650 over 1000 and retired group 1000 and retired group 50 over 1000 so these are all marginal probabilities 
Now we will understand joint probability and conditional probability in this example. Now joint probability. Probability that he is a businessman and defaulted is 60 over 1000 and that is what is that. Okay. The second one. Probability that he is retired and not defaulted is retired and not defaulted is 37 and that is what you get as 0.37 or 1000 or 0.037 and let us look at conditional probability the condition is that given that he is retired and he is also a default what is the probability that is equal to probability that he is retired and defaulted over probability that he is retired that is this is a joint probability and that is a retired probability the joint probability of retired and defaulted is retired and defaulted is 13 and 13 over 1000 we already got as 0.013 and over 50 and that is what you get as this one so this is the first instance the second instance is probability that is a non-default but he is salaried given that he is salaried is given by probability that is salaried and not default over probability that is salaried okay now you see that salaried and not default that means salaried and not default is 258 over 1000 is 0.258 and his salaried is 300 over 1000 and that is 0.3 so you get uh, the conditional probability given that he is salaried and he is non default is 0.086 now let us understand the probabilities with the help of Venn diagram which is a pictorial way of understanding various probabilities. They are very useful and sometimes they become much more clarity oriented when you have complex probabilistic situations. So how the Venn diagrams are represented I have just shown with elementary ideas. Statistically independent there are two independent activities X and Y and they are independent and the complementary of X is X bar that is not X similarly complementary of Y is Y bar which is not Y and this is a total space this is a, an example of statistically independent situation under statistically independent situation you have simple formula probability of X or Y is equal to probability of X plus probability of Y now we will have another Venn diagram for statistically dependent event. Now in statistically dependent event we said it is joint occurrence or overlapping. So I have shown this event A, event X and event Y they are overlapping and there is something called a overlapping zone here. So this is the way you represent a overlapping or a joint occurrence wherein x is there y is there and x and y is there okay and that is what you call it as intersection and denoted by x intersection y okay and the probability that x or y is given by probability of x plus probability of y minus probability of x and y that is probability of this plus probability of this minus probability of the common area. So this is the way you represent activities or event in Venn diagram. Venn diagrams are very useful in deducing multiple complex probability situations by way of a simple representation to have a better understanding. So this is the four possible types of probability, the marginal probability, the addition probability, that is P probability of X or Y and this is probability of X and Y and this is probability of X given that Y has occurred. So by way of a pictorial representation you can see probability of X is a hatched portion. Here again probability of X or Y is given by this hatched portion and here probability of X and Y is a common area that is shown here and here the probability of X having Y has occurred is this portion addition multiplication rules of different events in probability